Assalamu alaikum viewers I hope you are fine and doing well viewers in the previous videos I have discussed how can we keep the lead from Facebook and then insert into CRM or any other application and also I have discussed that how can we connect to CRM like you will have some web service which you uh, which the CRM is going to provide you you need the username and password and then you can connect if you don't know how to connect you can watch my previous video in this video I am going to teach you after the connection how can you insert um, how can you do the crude operation um, uh, um, you know on a Microsoft Dynamics CRM on any entity from the .NET application okay so here I am going to show you how can you insert a lead from a .NET application so first you have to connect to CRM which I have already discussed in the previous video you need the URL okay the web service then use a name and password for the administrator account okay after you connect okay and also I have uh, shown you the three um, uh, libraries which you need to include or add as a reference and their .NET application um, next what you have to do you have to insert a lead so you know that we have entities inside CRM okay so in any entity you can uh, you know do the code operation on that entity for example appointment account or lead so here I'm going to do uh, that on the lead so first you have to know the name of that entity how can you know you can go to the setting solution and you might have created a solution double click on that solution and then inside the entities you can find the uh, you know any entity for example lead double click on that and you can you will have the correct name of uh, that entity so okay so here it is the entity and this is the entity which is called lead I am going to perform certain operation on this entity but before that like you have different uh, uh, types of data types inside the <coughs> Uh, CRM like you will have plain text you will have uh, options that you will have uh, uh, lookup you will have uh, uh, I think party list yeah so here I have uh, I have this uh, drop down uh, sorry a lookup okay so for example you have a lookup you have to set the value of that lookup okay then I have also uh, option set I will teach you how can you set the value of op uh, option set right so this country code is a lookup so what I'm doing here I will give it the country code for example 966 which is a code of uh, uh, like uh, Saudi Arabia okay or uh, uh, 92 which is the code of Pakistan so I give it the value 966 and I'm telling it can uh, oper uh, condition operator is equal if it is equal okay I'm just provide a, you know querying it okay if it is equal to 966 okay give me the country code type so I will get it here the entity complete entity of 966 and from that entity I can get the grid because in CRM you will find everywhere grid okay GUID right so from here I will get the GUID and then I can uh, from because you will uh, store the, the the GUID of the entity country uh, phone code and insert it into the lead uh, entity so that you can have the reference of uh, country phone code inside the lead so here what I am doing okay for 966 okay I need to get the record of 966 okay if there are multiple I just need to get the first okay um, after I get it what I am going to do I will for example this inside the lead I have this name you can give it a prefix as well like for example xxx underscore country code so put the reference of uh, uh, country code in this ID which is a lookup okay so here it is from here I will get the GUID and put it inside this field okay so these are the name of the fields which you can get uh, like for example you will go to I told you like entities inside entities lead when you click on the leads you can go to the fields click on the fields and you will find all these fields so these names should be the same as that in the CRM right 
so this is the option set most of you uh, might know what is the option option uh, option set in the CRM so this is the option set okay and for each option set we have a value and a text okay so you have to set the text for example um, for source code lead source code I have 10 uh, um, you know options okay so for each option I will have a value and text you have to set the value for example there is chat there is Facebook one lead source for Facebook the value is 20 so you have to set the 20 here right as it is a string so I am just converting it into n32 right after you set all these values into these fields okay you have to call the service dot create so you will have service dot update service dot delete okay you can have all the uh, code operation after the lead is created I am process uh, appointment creation is done so the same way you can do the um, for example after the lead is created you want to uh, create an appointment so you can do the same thing for with appointment as well this is just an example you can do the same process with any entity inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM you can create opportunity you can create proposal from here whatever you want to do you can do from here like all the operations you can perform from any .NET application and most of the people do it for the sake of you know saving the licenses all the activities you can perform from .NET application okay guys so that's it for today I have uh, you know discussed how can we connect to CRM in the previous video in this video I am and discussing how can we create a lead or like how can we uh, you know perform code operation on any entity I hope you like the video please uh, like this video subscribe to my channel for more, more videos thank you very much